Hi guys, it's Ben Heath, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use the Google Ads Auctions Insights Report, which is a really useful free tool that you can use to find out how your campaigns are performing in comparison to your competition. There's tons of information we can take out of this. You can use it to optimize your Google Ad campaigns. Well worth taking a few minutes to go through. Okay, so I'm in one of our example Google Ad accounts, and I've brought up the Auction Insights Report. I just wanted to highlight that you can actually take a look at this at the campaign level, which is what I've got selected. You can also look at it at the ad group level, get a bit more specific, and you can also do so at the keyword level as well. So I'd recommend you start by taking a look at this at the campaign level. You can always get more specific later on um, if you want to. So what are we looking at here? Firstly, we've got the display URL domain. So we can see you, which is obviously our website in this case, and then we can see the competitors that are competing against us for within Google, within the Google auction that are trying to take the same, some of the same clicks, impressions, etc. that we're after. So firstly, I'd recommend you just take a note of all these companies. Um, it can be really useful to go and check out their websites, check out their offers, basically see what it is that they're they're doing. Maybe you can learn from that. Maybe you can you find something that they're doing that you go, oh, okay, that's really interesting. I could add that into to my offer, to my website, to my business, et cetera. So always worth checking out your competitors. Some of these companies you're probably already aware of, but maybe some of them you aren't. They're, they're new to you, you don't recognize them. So make sure you take a bit of time and, and go through those. I've just blurred these out because these are other businesses you don't necessarily want to show that publicly. Okay, then we've got impression share as the next column. Now this refers to the percentage of time that the ads from either you or one of these other businesses showed up when they were entered into um, the auction. Now this is from our point of view, so this business point of view. So it makes sense that we would have a larger impression share than the competitors displayed here. They're probably going to be showing up you know, in other keywords and, and things like that as well, right? So, so bear that in mind. It's also worth noting that with this business in particular, um, there's not a lot of search volume, but the clicks are extremely valuable. The potential average customer value for this business is very, very high. Therefore, we wanted to ensure that we had a very high impression share. We bid um, high um, in order to get that. So you may well see lower impression shares than this. So there's a good chance that you will. Don't worry about that. That's, that's specific to this account where we've sort of overpaid in effect for clicks because we know how valuable um, those clicks can potentially be and there's not a lot of search volume. So obviously you can go through here and, and see what the impression share is for your other competitors. Anything under 10%, by the way, when it comes to impression share, is just gonna be given as a less than 10%. You don't get more specific than that. Then we move on to overlap rate. So overlap rate refers to how often your competitors' ads are receiving impressions when they're entered into the same auction as your own. Obviously there's no data in this column for us because that wouldn't make any sense. But here you can start to see how much of an overlap there is between you and your competitors. There's gonna be more with some than others. Um, you would expect the ones with higher overlap rate to be businesses that are more closely correlated in terms of the products and services they offer. If they aren't, that could be some really interesting information. If you've got a relatively low overlap rate with a business that looks very, very similar to yours, that might mean that they're bidding on other keywords that you haven't found. They're finding other ways to reach their target audience that you're sort of not doing potentially. So that's worth keeping an eye out for. Okay, I'm gonna to get to these, these three in the middle here in a second, but I want to go ahead and jump over to outranking share first, because this is a, a very interesting metric. And you can see that outranking share refers to how often your ad ads are appearing above your competitor's ads. Now, if you're seeing that your outranking share is quite low, that might mean that your competitors are effectively outbidding you. They're beating you in the auction and they're outranking you. In this example, we've got the opposite. I've already mentioned that we were forcing bids pretty high because limited search uh, volume, we wanted to get those clicks as much as we could. So we've all got 60, 65% or so um, here with these competitors, and that demonstrates exactly what I'm talking about. But if you see the opposite, if you see a much lower outranking share, maybe you're just basically being outbidded by your competition, might be something that you want to look into uh, an adjustment to potentially make. Okay, then I want to go back and take a look at these three in the middle. So then we move on to position above rate. Now, this is kind of the reverse of outranking share. So this shows how often another advertiser's ad in the same auction is going to be displayed above yours. The difference is that position above rate only refers to times when both your ads and your competitors' ads are in the same auction. Whereas outranking share will show those times when your ads are in an auction that your competitors are not. So that's why these numbers even though they kind of look like the two sides of a coin, outranking share is when you outrank, position above is when one of your competitors' ads are above yours. Um, they don't add up to 100% always because of that, because there's not going to be 100% overlap rate within the auctions. It sounds a little bit complicated, but hopefully that makes sense. 
Then we've got top of page. Now, top of page rate can be a little bit misleading. It sounds like you've got that position one. It's not, that's not what it's referring to. Top of page is the percentage of time that your ads appear above the organic ranking. So in, depending on device, it could be that first one slot, could be those first three slots, let's say, um, depending obviously on where your ads are being displayed. But obviously you've got your Google ads typically, then you've got organic search results, and then you've got more Google ads at the bottom of the page, more Google ads on subsequent pages. Um, so yeah, so this just shows the percentage of time that your ads are appearing above those organic search results. So you can see, obviously, this business here had a really quite high top of page rate. And then in terms of competitors, we've got quite a broad um, split here. You know, sometimes we've got ones that, again, have got really high, you know, 54%, 52%. They really uh, are above um, the organic search rankings in the top of page. Some, like this one here, are much lower, 12%, okay? So always worth keeping an eye on here. And again, if you're seeing that, your competitors have got a much higher top of page rate, maybe that's something that you, you can do something about. Then we've got absolute top of page rate, which helps explain what's kind of going on with top of page rate. And that really is talking about position number one, not just those first um, set of ads that appear above the organic search results. So here we can see we've got really nice high, absolute top of page rate for this business, almost 20% significantly, very significantly lower for some others, like this one here with a tiny, tiny absolute top of page rate. A lot of Google advertisers won't want to be in the very top of page because they feel like that's not the best use of budget. You can get a lot of the benefits from being slightly lower down um, and it costs less. Again, it completely depends on the industry. With this one, limited search volume, very high potential value on each customer, Therefore, we wanted to maximize. We're willing to pay a little bit extra and potentially waste a bit of money to get those extra clicks because the customers are potentially so valuable, okay? So those are the six columns. Something else I wanna show you, and that's this segment section. So if I go ahead and click on this, we'll talk about both options. The first is time. So if I go ahead and select time, you can see I've got some grayed out options here, but what I can do is select day of the week. And this could be really interesting because what you might find here is that certain competitors are doing things differently on different days of the week. Now here we can see that our data in terms of impression share is very consistent through the week. Same with top of page rate, all that sort of stuff. Um, I imagine for this industry, most of the competitors are gonna see the same things, but certain times you'll see competitors really going hard on weekends or really going hard during the working hours. And that might mean that your competitors found some information, they've got some insight that that's when people convert best for your industry, and maybe you want to make some adjustments to your campaigns based on that. So well worth coming in and, and going through this data for your competitors and taking a look at day of the week. Okay, uh, other thing is device. Likewise with the day of the week, certain competitors might be really going for mobile traffic, might be really going for computer traffic, tablet traffic, and they may have worked out that mobile traffic converts a lot better, although in a lot of industries, maybe it's the opposite, computer traffic converts a lot better. So if you see that there are big differences, let's say in your outranking share between different devices. So for example, take this competitor, we can see that we are outranking them 72.5% of the time on mobile, but only 55% of the time on computer. Now that's really interesting information. We can see a similar thing with this competitor here. Now, is that because these businesses are bidding less on mobile. They're sort of downgrading their campaigns on mobile, which you can which you can adjust. Um, or actually, is it, which I know it to be in this case, the fact that we're going harder on mobile than we are on other devices because we know that that converts better. So that's what's causing this. But if you are seeing big discrepancies, is that because of something you're doing? Or is it something that your competitors are doing? They've worked out that mobile performs better or worse and they adjust accordingly. Maybe it's something you can take a look at. So spend a bit of time with these segments and work out okay, what's going on here? How do I stack up with my competition? Have they worked out something that, that I'm not aware of? Am I missing out on opportunity here? You can find a lot of info with this with this data in here. Okay, and before you go, something I wanna quickly mention, and that's how I've done for you Google Ad services. So we can create, manage, and optimize your Google Ad campaigns. If you're interested in that, you can find a link in the video description below. That'll take you to a page where you can book in a call directly with one of my team members to find out more information. We do have a 3K per month minimum budget requirement, so please only book a call if you meet that criteria. But if you do, go ahead and book a call. Hopefully we get a chance to work together. Now I've just shown you how you can use the Google Ads Auction Insights Report, but there are many other ways that you can optimize campaigns quickly and effectively that can make a big difference to your results. In this video here, I walk you through some of my favorite ways to optimize Google Ad campaigns. It's well worth going through, making a few tweaks, potentially seeing a significant improvement.